Welcome everyone to Path of Titans. They recently had a new update called Pounce and uh, your Hinosaurus. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, but because of their recent update, they have been providing keys and everything through Keymailer. That's how I'm currently playing it today. So we're going to jump into it and take a first look at this game. Uh, from my understanding, it's pretty much a dinosaur survival game where you can either play online you can go single player and then they also have tons of different variations that you can play as in the game as you can see prehistoric jurassic savage wild uh creatatious starter i'm assuming that's like the starter pack that you get if you buy the game because there are packs for this and stuff uh because i was provided a key it looks like it automatically has most of them unlocked so we're gonna go single player for right now and just kind of get the feel for the game most of the time i feel like these games are probably better off played online but uh i want to see what's going on because most of the time they're also pvp enabled so let's see what we got here oh it's a little t-rex oh wow jeez oh wait no that's the tyrannosaurus <laughs> Okay, there's a lot of them here. I feel like I, I feel like most people would want to see that. Yeah, Tyrannosaurus Rex. So you have Rex knockback resist, attack damage. Oh, so there's different model types to it. Sure, we can try this. Oh, oh, these are okay. These eat meat, and these eat uh, plants. Ah, I see. Wow, there's way more than I expected. What is that? Yeah, imagine just running around with this guy. Oh, so that's what it sounds like. Okay, let's uh, let's let's just try it. I I feel like I wouldn't want to go with this on multiplayer because I'm sure tons of other people are playing them, but we can try it and go at least go through the tutorial and see how it is pattern sure uh actually we'll go with this one that looks cool casa we'll go casa all right here we go oh my god i'm tiny <laughs> oh no i'm a little baby now so that was full grown versions. All right, well, that's fair, that's fair. Use your input controls to move your creature, sprint and jump and drain your stamina to continue. Oh, the little guy. Tap H to res uh, the rest button to sit down. You can hold the rest button to sleep. Resting greatly increases your health and stamina regeneration. Have a nice little seat. Oh my gosh, his head is huge. Precise movement. Uh, movement. Holding the precise movement button allows you to strafe, reverse, and turn in place. Stand up and use the precise movement. Oh, okay. So it's like, like drifting. All right, I'm sorry. Eat f eat food to replenish your hunger. Oh man. Well, we are uh, what a carnivore. That looks good. There's also another game out there that I never really got around to called The Isle. Now this one is interesting though, cause this is only available uh, through their own launcher. This isn't even on Steam, which I was uh, kind of surprised by. I, I had no idea that this was even a thing, but it has been pretty, uh, pretty cool so far from what I've seen. I took a quick look at like gameplay and stuff and watched like some trailers before always uh, picking up a key. Cause if it's something that interests me, and I'm definitely open to trying them and kind of see how it does, which 
Uh, yeah, this is going to be interesting because I don't really play a ton of survival games, but playing as like a dinosaur, um, it's something different. I mean, these bars show the vital information about your creature. Hunger is displayed in green and thirst is displayed in blue. Got it. Is your health, your creature dies, you lose marks. Demon shows here when your creature is running and using abilities. Oxygen shows here when you're underwater. Is your creature's growth? Fill this bar. Okay, so this bar, the XP bar looking thing. Status effects, buffs, debuffs are displayed here. Now communicate with other players through chat or vocal call. Send a call with your vocal wheel. Well, right now we are in single player, but test. Okay. Have to interact and pick up items. Maybe we'll switch to uh, multiplayer. I saw that there was a lot of maps that were actually, um, or a lot of servers that are actually pr pretty full. So, like multiple servers with over a hundred players. So I, I think this game is actually pretty popular. Quest complete quest menu tutorial. Wait, we actually have quest too? Wait, if we have quest too, that's actually awesome. Quest menu allows you to show your active quests and allow you to track them. Side track button, uh, or the track button will display the quest on the side of your menu. Add a menu map marker. Okay. Collect reward. Unlock skins and marks to stand out. You can buy and shed into skins with skin menu. That's Bolvio character tab skins can be customized here okay oh so you can change it like at any time oh wow backer huh what colors do we got here oh it changes his tail right now Oh, that looks pretty cool. Begin shed. Firm these changes. You will not be able to change them for five minutes. Five minutes? That's fine. You can purchase new abilities for your creature here. Many abilities are locked until your creature has grown larger. This menu displays your current growth. So, okay. So we're hatchling, then juvenile, adolescent, sub-adult, and then adult. You're now equipping an ability to action bar. Press the corresponding button. So bite. Okay. Press the button again to use your ability. Nice. Join a group by pressing this. Okay. Party button. Take a look at a friends menu. Be your friends here. Okay. Add friend. Got it. Exit the tutorial to leave the cave and begin your journey of survival. Beware, you will be hunted by other players. Complete quests to grow larger and earn marks to unlock new abilities. Good luck out there. All right, tutorial complete. Let's get out of here. So let's see what happens. We can spend like the first few minutes here outside and see, because there's not going to be any other players, but... Oh, wait. That's really cool. So there's actually quest markers on where you need to go. Um, that's one thing I, I've never really been the biggest fan of for most like survival games. Is I know it breaks a little bit of immersion, but if it gives you some guidance on where to go or what you need to actually do to progress, then that is awesome. It looks like we do have one. Wait, I can even pick up a branch? Oh, look at my branch. Got a huge branch right now. All right, let's put it down. Collect 50 acorns. Find and use a waystone. Kill three. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sliding. Oh, no. Yeah, all right. That was a little, a little rough there. Let's see. I rest while I regenerate health. Yeah, that's 
take a nice little seat here wait we got way larger from where we started to now i feel huge to where we're at right now yeah now now that i kind of know what this feels like part of me wants to go online and see what it is um and when we selected a map it looks like there was there's two locations that you can choose now i don't know if it's the same map or if it's different uh like different areas uh on the, the map so oh i thought i was gonna be over here what is this focus on player oh i'm right here got it all right my health is almost max so we can make our way we're in sickle claw valley all right got something up here that might is that a prey is just standing there or is that a what is that find and enter a home cave via a ho home cave rock burrow is something gonna come out disturb I don't see anything Try again. Oh, oh, we got something. Get back here. Come on. Oh, I hit the tree. Oh my god, this thing is fast. Where'd he go? There he is. Come on. We're right there. Right there. This thing is running from me. No. <laughs> oh my gosh, I bumped into it and it slowed me down. Does it go the same path? Maybe if maybe I can cut it off. Let's see. Am I out of stamina? Oh no, I'm out of Yeah, I'm pretty much out of stamina. gonna have to stop moving eventually damn what a nice little sit <laughs> all right let's regen my stamina here for a second and then i'll try i'll try again this is a noisy guy Go. Um, did he just glitch? Oh no, I hurt myself.
I think it got stuck in there. Yeah, I don't see it anymore. Um, I'm going to make my way back. Oh, okay. I need to be mindful of fall damage. Oh no. Oh no. I'm almost dead. I'm damaged very badly. My bone is broken. My bones are broken. Oh no. What happens if we sleep? Does health regenerate like really fast then? Oh. It is slowly, I think slowly going away. All right, let's try, uh, we're going to try going to, oh. All right, turns out uh, if you click quit, it quits out the entire game. So we're going to try going online and see how that is. Panjura, sure, we'll do that. And then I changed my uh, region to North America. So here we go. We'll try uh, surviving out here now. That is a, oh my God, that's huge. Attack damage. You know what? We'll go the same thing again. Whoa, some of these I feel like I didn't see the first time around. That is a big guy. All right, Tyrannosaurus Rex again. Um, actually, maybe we'll go the Batar because then we get a, a damage. Oh, this is eye color. Oh, I didn't realize you could change your eye color too. Okay, let's try randomizing. That looks cool. Cass, uh, or you know what? We'll just do Cassus. See how this is. Creating character. All right, we're a tiny little one again. So we went through the tutorial. I wonder if we got to do it again. Yeah, it looks like we do. All right, we'll be quick here. Precise movement. We got to run over there and eat. Now we're in a uh, a team, or well, a chat. Eat some food. All right. Go drink some water, and then we'll get out there. Now I wonder if the the chat system. I wonder if it's only for your species or your like. Uh, carnivore herbivore team or if it's just everyone it might just be everyone bars are vital got that okay vocal wheel chat oh like the channel wait how do i oh right yes Funny that it makes you send a message while in, uh, while you're actually in the tutorial. 
Pick it up, deliver. Got that. Go to quest, continue. Claim rewards. Character. We'll begin shed. All right, we're gonna equip that, yes. Cool. Joining a group, yeah, you can probably see all the people that are gonna be here now. Ends menu. Now, uh, let me just make sure that there's no check in yeah, as far as settings we've got everything pretty much maxed out here on epic so i mean it's running pretty good for for where it's at cool exit through the marked tunnel i wonder if there's a way that you can just like kind of skip the tutorial when you create a new dinosaur all right, here we are. We're out in the world. Now let's see how long we can actually last without dying. <laughs> Cause that is the biggest thing. All right, so do we have like a marker on the map? I'm not sure what this means or these icons. Maybe we can go to it and find it. Find and enter a home cave via home cave rock. Then we also have kill one herbivore. You've now reached juvenile growth. All right, so we're growing slowly. See a bird flying around. It's cozy out here. I just gotta be very mindful of the fall damage. Cause that almost, uh, yeah, that one didn't, did me dirty last time. Collect 50 acorns and collect 25 roots. What is that? Can't eat, okay. I'm hearing a dog in the dinos, in this uh, area, huh? Interesting. We're shedding right now. So I guess you shed oh, every five minutes or so. Okay. That is where the precision walking comes in handy. Because, like, right now walking straight is fine. But, like, say if I want to turn, I don't know, you got to do a 360 or something it gets a little bit weird when the camera is not facing your character like this oh my gosh <laughs> he's a unit an actual unit there don't mess with him Oh, we're almost done shedding. Okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to be going this way. We're focus on character. Oh, that wasn't me, was it? Local quest failure. If you remain outside the point of interest over a lot of time. Oh, okay. I kind of wish I could see that a little bit better though. Gather acorns, enter to Falls Hollow. Oh, so there's specific quests like that. Huh. Now the question is, how do you find the acorns? I mean, I figure they would probably be everywhere. Oh, 
find and use a waystone. Are these the acorns? Wait, what was those big things? The acorns? Maybe that's what those are. They did kind of look like acorns. Oh. What was the button for... There it is. Okay. Uh, it's fine. It, I mean, if it's just a local quest and we get to the next area, that's that's all good too. A lot of uh, traveling around. Well, this does look pretty. This game looks really cool. Enters Traveler's Basin. I wonder if this is one of the caves. The uh, I'm assuming this is Find a Home Cave. Let's see if maybe we find other players or other uh what would you say other dinosaurs friends <laughs> i don't know enemies other beings oh i saw something flying around try this i think this is gonna be a cave to use as a home cave. Yep. There it is. My stamina is completely depleted right now, too. Enter home cave. Ah, there we go. So I guess this is like our safety point. Interact with the home rock within the home cave. Log out in your home cave to gain increased growth time next time you play. Oh, there you go. Customize. Welcome to your home cave. Uh, customize your home cave through the cave stone. Your home cave is unique to your dinosaur. It can be accessed from the home cave uh, on the map. By decorations, rooms, place decorations. Customize, reset all. Okay. I have one of these. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Amazing. So what is this? If I hover over these, nah, it doesn't really say. Buy decorations. So you use your currency to buy more. Okay, and then you can buy rooms. Okay. Small cave with numerous bones and skeletons. Empty shell of a room. Water pool, that one's cool. All right, let's uh, let's rest for a second just to yeah, nice in the uh, get a little bit of, of sun here. Oh, oh, trying to turn around. Hold on. All right, let's rest and just get our stamina regenerated again. We'll get back out there. We'll see what uh what the world has for us. Oh man. Regeneration? I don't I can't tell if it's just being really slow. I thought the bottom bar was your stamina. But maybe it's not. Alright, let's try leaving this spot. Yes. It does say there's no players nearby, so that's good. I guess it tells you whether or not there are people. Oh. Whoa. Oh, the sun. Oh, maybe that's how you can detect what time it is in the game. 
when it's like that. Oh yeah, no, that is my stamina. Maybe you can't regenerate stamina while in your home base? Yeah, because now my stamina is regenerating. All right, let's take a seat here. We'll just wait to see. Quest failed. Yeah, that's for the acorns. You're fully regenerated again. Let's see. Oh, trying to do a three sixty here. What is this? scallop can't eat that maybe we can find some uh, some fish Interesting. Already full on water. That part's good. It's starting to get dark out here. My stamina like completely gone too. I can't even run. I can only walk now. I'm not sure what the arrow pointing down at the home is. What that means. We can try going back in. Let's see. Enter home cave. Yeah, now there's one down and one up. Ooh, it's cozy. Let's see. Take a nice seat. And rest. All right, chat. Well, I think we're going to call this video here. If you guys enjoyed this, then definitely leave a like on it. Subscribe. Let me know if you want to see some more. I'm down to jump back in and, and continue on uh, and see how much more progress we can make. Uh, of course, with survival games like this, it always takes a little bit to kind of learn the ins and outs. But maybe there's like a little tutorial of like, hey, here's some things you should know if you're going to play this. Um, or if not, maybe that would be a good idea to make a video on. Uh, if I do learn some more. But for right now, 
I think this is a good stopping point. Thank you all for watching as always. And uh, yeah, hope to see you in the next one.